Our next Boucher candidate is Shanice Forte. Shanice is a PhD candidate in environmental health science and scientific computing. Let's give a virtual round of applause to Shanice. Beautiful. Um, okay, let me make sure I have everything. Okay, so this is a three minute thesis by me. I wasn't quite sure what that meant, but I gave it a whack to sort of talk about what my research is and how I got here. Um, and so here are two people hanging out. Uh, maybe they split a meal, maybe they don't, who knows. But they have one thing in common and sort of one thing that we all have in common. They've been exposed to pesticides, which puts them at risk of harm health-wise. More specifically, oops, I jumped the gun. <laughs> More specifically, um, all of us sort of through birth we um, are exposed to pesticides, right? Because they're so prevalent in our environment, they're on our food. But what I'm really interested in is for those people, not just looking at the food, but those people who are coated in this chemical, what does their health look like? And I look at factors like income, education, uh, citizenship, and also DNA. And so this is kind of a stretch. Traditionally in my field, you sort of are either on the left or you're on the right. You are interested in statistics and the population, or you're interested in the sort of wet lab, we call it, or experiments looking at cancer cells and looking at DNA in themselves directly, right? Um, and so I sort of look at this in my dissertation. I say, why not do both? Let's do both. Um, and so my dissertation actually looks at farm workers. So we went to Thailand and met them. I look at secondary data sets and how people's health is affected by chemicals sort of on the large scale. And I also look at the molecular level. How do the cells that we look at in the laboratory, um, how are they altered? How are things added to our DNA or our DNA changed that um, alter our health? And so what are some of the things I found, right? Um, so in my first name, I actually, as I mentioned, went to Thailand with my PI, um, and we brought together all of these stakeholders, the university, the hospital, and especially the farm workers. Our research came from the farm workers and we took blood and urine samples and survey samples. And we found that farm workers are exposed based on air samples we also took while they were working. And we found that uh, farm workers felt somewhat less prepared um, and more stressed, right, on the day to day, um, which is interesting. And then, more so, on my second aim, looking at analytics, I found that these chemicals that people are exposed to on a population level um, are active in the human body. Um, and don't get bogged down in these charts. This is just to show you how good I am at making tables and graphs. <laughs> This one's stolen, it's from the website. <laughs> um, and then my third aim, uh, my mom has her head in her hand. Um, and then for my third aim, I actually look at the laboratory work. And so these are human cells that I took into a laboratory and I exposed them to pesticides. Um, and I said, okay, what happens here? Um, and we actually see that people are um, we see that the cells are changing in the way that they act in exposure to these cells. So where does this take us now? So ultimately, with my dissertation, I hope to say, here's a farm worker. This is what they're exposed to. These are some of the nasty things that can lead to on both the cellular and unfortunately the population level. And more importantly, how can we stop that from happening? 